brunch time yet. It's not New Year's yet, but the madness is in full effect. Hey, everyone, how are you? Lauren Shahadi here bringing you all things college hoops. The recap of the weekend's happenings. It is only December, but March right around the corner. And on Saturday, you could almost taste it. Let me take you out to Seattle for a rematch of the 1999 regional final between UConn and Gonzaga. If you live in Seattle, got to watch this game. That was probably some of the best college basketball you're going to see. Second ranked UConn is a mainstay at the top, but Gonzaga was going to do everything but lay down and die. 88-83 your final in what was a fierce competition between an unbeaten and an unproven. The only thing that changed post game because UConn stayed undefeated was that Gonzaga can now throw their name around with just about any team. With that, let's throw it out to Gus Johnson and Greg Anthony who are impressed with both teams, but they don't point to offense or defense as key. They like both. The guards played so well for Jim Calhoun's Connecticut Huskies. They really did. Hashim Thabit struggled early and often in this basketball game, but the backcourt play of Dyson and Price was so impressive, not just offensively, but they did it defensively as well. Really changed the complexion of this game. Hashim, again, we talked about he struggled, but if you want to win a national championship, you have to be able to win when your best player is not as effective. For the Zags, they got a great performance from a virtual unknown in Stephen Gray. Oh, he was really huge in turning the tide in that first half offense. We did a great job of attacking the rim. And, you know, Heitfeld and Pargo were solid, but they weren't as effective down the stretch. When the game got tight, they didn't handle the pressure as well. That's an area where they're going to have to improve if they want to have a chance to get to the Final Four. All right, that's the story from Seattle as Connecticut improves to 10-0 and, and Gonzaga falls to 8-2. and For Greg Anthony, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks, guys. Speaking of UConn, remember the 2004 regional final? Another year where Connecticut won it all, but the two teams I'm talking about are Duke and Xavier. It was a case of six versus seven, but this game, unlike Gonzaga, UConn was over at the half, and the stats speak volumes. Duke shot 61.8% from the field in the first half, including eight of 15 from three-point range. The Musketeers were nine for 27 from the field, missing all four three-point attempts in the first 20 minutes, and they had 10 turnovers. Lesson to Xavier. If you're going to turn the ball over, don't give it to this guy. The advantage for our team is uh, in practice, we have really competitive practices. And, you know, we're a deep team, so when we scrimmage each other or play each other, uh, it's really competitive. It's really game-like. And for us, uh, we had a few things yesterday. We weren't playing like uh, we would have been in a game, and that's key for us every day out. So our preparation is huge. Well, preparation gave John Shire a game-high 23 points. More scores for you now. Michigan State coach Tom Izzo told Darrell Summers before Saturday's game against Texas that he was disappointed in how the sophomore guard practiced the previous day. I'm sure he was pretty pleased, though, with Summers' three-pointer with 18.6 seconds left to lift the Spartans to a 67-63 victory. Pretty sure. I'm also pretty sure the Minnesota Golden Gophers are pretty pleased with their 11-0 start, their best since the 1976-77 season. They get the upset over Louisville. And Tennessee head coach Bruce Pearl was trying to prevent having his balls be upset by Belmont because he has seen it before Alabama's seen it. Cincinnati's seen it. He didn't want to see it. None of it. He saw too much of it. But in the end, Tennessee wins, escapes being left out of the top 25, something Pat Summit has to be upset about on the women's side of things. Well, don't you be upset one bit. You can get all your college hoop scores, highlights, and much, much more right here on CBSSports.com. That about does it for College Hoop Central and for me. Thanks so much for watching.